Wagamar Reviews. Fortflex still stamps a unique silhouette on the crossover world. We loved the Ford Flex when it was new. Then again, we also loved the iPhone's 2G connectivity, the Atlanta Thrashers, and Chicago's Summer Olympic bid in the same year. We're not fickle, we've just outlived most of those things. The Flex, still sold in SE, Cell, and Limited Trends, is the lone survivor in that bunch. It's sold, yes but we still harbor some feelings for it. It no longer feels as counter-trendy as it once did, but the shape still is singular, the family wagon bone finds still solid. On the balance we'd rather have a Chrysler Pacifica or a Honda Pilot. A Space Age Surf Wagon, the Ford Flex bundles up all the straight lines unused by a crossovers and minivans. It wouldn't look half bad with wood side panels, would it? The ribs down its side. The flat body color or blacked out roof, the USB port front end all coalesce into a shape that mashes up looks from the companies Ford used to own, Volvo and Range Rover. The cabin's lost some charm in its recent redo, but a big touchscreen and simple layout work well. The base 287 horsepower V6 could use more grunt, but it's joined to a workhorse of a 6-speed automatic. Front wheel drive makes the most of the combination, but add on all wheel drive, and the hefty wagon drains all the juice out of the power train. The twin turbo V6 on limited versions has brisk punch in the gutsy raw, but adds $8,200 to the price, bundled as it is with all wheel drive, big wheels, and anything else Ford wants you to have. In either configuration, the flex borders are nearly fun to drive, but it's a trick. Both engines are appropriately handling the Flex's mighty girth. The Flex still comports itself like a classic family wagon. Were it more popular we'd say it stole Volvo's thunder, if Subaru hadn't already gotten there. It rides high, and makes it easy for adults to slide into its cozy front seats. Headroom soars as it should in a vehicle shaped like...